Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the third problem of today's bi-weekly contest, minimize maximum of array. The problem states that you are given a zero indexed array nums, which comprise of n non-negative integers. Now in one operation, you can, like you can apply some operation any number of times. What is the operation? The operation is choose any index i which is not the first index and decrement nums of i by 1 and increment nums of i minus 1 by 1. Okay. Now you can apply this operation in any order on any number of indexes. Finally, after you have done that, you have to just return the maximum integer of the nums. Now you have to apply the operation in such a way that this maximum of the array is minimum possible. For example, this is the array 3716. Let's say you apply the operation some number of times and finally you get at 5225. So for this particular combination of operations, our result is 5 because maximum is 5. And now for this 3716, you can apply operation in any other order on any other indexes. There will not be any case where maximum is less than equals to 5. So where maximum is less than 5. So that's where the answer is 5. Okay. So hope the problem statement is clear. Now, instead of directly solving this problem, let's try to solve a smaller version of this problem. Because this problem has a lot of moving pieces. First of all, you have to apply this operation in some order. And there are many possible orders, right? And finally, you have to apply it in such a way that is that the maximum is minimum possible. So there are a lot of moving pieces. So instead of solving the problem directly, let's try to solve a smaller version. What we are going to solve is given an array. Tell me whether we can make all the integers of this array less than equals to four or less than equals to X. Okay. And the operation is same. Now, what like with this, like again to reiterate what we are solving is given th this array 3716, tell me whether I can apply this operation in some order such that every element here is less than equals to four. Okay. Now let's look at the operation. Operation says that I should be greater than equals to one. It means you can't actually apply any operation on the first index. Okay. Though you can apply operation on second index that will result in increment of this particular index, because if you apply operation here, you have to increase nums of I minus one by one. So that will help increasing this particular number, but there is no other way you can apply the operation on this first index. So in a way, you can't actually decrement the first index by any means, right? So if you can't decrement this index, this index should better be less than equals to four always. Otherwise answer is no, you can't do this, right? So we know that, okay, this index currently is less than equals to four. So all good. Now let's move to the second index. Now, if you move to second index, uh, what exactly this is seven. Now you have to make everything less than equals to four. So if you make this to seven, like four, how you can make this to four? You apply the operation three times on this index. So this will result in decrementing this value by three times, and this will result in incrementing this value by three times, right? So the new array will become six, four, one, six. Now you can see here six, four, one, six, like this index was previously good index, but now it become bad index, right? So if you apply this operation blindly, you will never end up in a, like in a structured way, you, ca you can't tell whether which part of your array is actually good. So previously we have said that, okay, first index is good. And now we have moved to second index, but now we have applied some operation on first in, of, on second index, which make the first index bad as well. So if you keep on doing this, 
there is no structured way you can tell that okay this part of the array is actually good or this part of the array is actually good okay so in to make that structured uh, like structured like to make that structure you can actually solve it in a different way what you can say that okay i know that everything here should be less than equals to 4 and this index is 3 so what the maximum value of this index could be this can be 4 right so let's make it 4 now if you make it 4 what exactly you are saying that okay i have a buffer of 1 so if i have a buffer of 1 i can make this at least or at the minimum 6 we, like I can't make it much uh, lower than this the moment you say that you are saying that okay I don't care about this part of the array at all whatever this part of the array has to contribute it has already contributed to the next index and now this problem is reduced to just solving this part of the array with this index of value 6 okay so the like by saying this by just sim this simple trick but we say that you have said that i know what is my buffer like at this index i know what is the buffer buffer is one so let me contribute that one forward and now as i have already at my peak i can't do much so if this index is greater than four at this particular position or at this particular point I can't do much so basically you have removed the particular index and now you are saying that okay solve this particular array now if you are solving this particular array, again the same kind of trick you can say that okay this is the first index now everything should be less than equals to 4 and you can't actually decrement the first index so this index better be less than equals to 4 which it is not so the answer is false so hope you get this idea let's apply this on us one more example that will make things much more clear let's say this is the array 3 4 4 12 and you have to like you have to say whether everything can be less than equals to 6 or not now again on first index you can't decrement so this better be less than equals to 6 and here it is less than equals to 6 so this is good now before moving forward let's see that what exactly like how many how much buffer we have here 3 and 6 we can we have buffer of 3 so let's make this 6 okay and let's say i decremented it already to by 3 so this already becomes 1 the moment you do that you basically remove this particular index from your array and now you start from here 4 like this 4 becomes 1 okay now you look at 4 4 is like you look at 1 1 is less than equals to 6 that's good now before moving forward you know i have a buffer of 5 so let's make this 6 okay and let's decrement it to minus 1 okay now some of you might be thinking uh, that this condition is violated but we'll look we will come to that okay so this becomes minus one now this index again this index works is done like you this index can't be decremented anymore and so you can assume that this index never existed now this becomes minus one so this minus one is less than equals to six okay this is good now you have like you you can apply some operation now here you have buffer of seven so you incremented it by 7 and you can decrement it by 7 which is with this 12 become 5 now as soon as you do that this is at its peak so you can't do much you can remove this index and now you can just check whether 5 is less than equals to 6 or not it is so the answer for this particular case is true that given 3 4 4 12 i can apply the operation in some order such that every index is less than equals to 6 okay so given like now i think you have understood how we can t solve this particular version of the problem where given a particular array tell me whether i can apply the operation in some order such that everything here is less than equals to a given element x 
okay now we have solved this particular problem let's just look at the pseudo code to make things a bit more clear so we have like this this is, is possible uh, function it takes in a target takes in an array now we iterate from 0 to n minus 2 and we see whether it is greater than target or not if it is greater than target in a way we are saying that everything before is already sorted like you you have made them to maximum so if this index if the current index is greater than target you can't do much and you have to return false otherwise you make it to its maximum possible so what you have done you have subtracted whatever buffer you have currently okay now you apply the same operation uh, again and again on the next set of indexes and finally you will reach and like you will apply this operation on the last element so finally you will check whether the last element is this then equals to target or not if it is it means you like the answer is true otherwise answer is false okay so now we have solved this but if you remember the original question was we have to return the minimum possible value of maximum integer of nums so we know a way of finding whether a particular value x is possible or not so what we can do we can start from 1 go up till like you, we can start from 1 apply this uh, is possible on 1 like target is 1 if it returns true if it returns true this is the answer this is the minimum possible value if it returns false then we apply this operation on 2 and if is possible of 2 is true we got the answer otherwise we move ahead with 3 and so on and so forth this will give us answer for sure but what will be the time complexity the time complexity of this is possible is order n right now you are applying this operation x number of times like until you reach some possible some possible integer x which will give true for this particular function so this x can be up to 10 to the power of 9 so the complexity is 10 to the power 9 into n which is very huge so you can't actually apply this particular algorithm but that algorithm is correct that is true now in a way you you see you are doing a linear search here now given you are doing a linear search the next possible things to that should come to your mind to optimize this linear search is doing a binary search now what binary search is uh, like just to quickly recap uh, given a particular array you divide into half Be you check some condition like you check your condition whether this condition is true at this particular element or not okay if this condition is true here and you can get you can say that okay i can skip either the left half or the right half then you can apply binary search here so what exactly here we are doing we are saying that okay if let's say x let's say first first let's say whether this method like we have to check whether binary search is possible in this particular problem or not so what you can do you can see that whether you can skip either left or right half of the array based on some condition okay what is the condition here condition here is whether is possible is true or not okay now let's say for some x is possible is true so if at this particular position is possible is true whether it makes sense to check in the right half of the array at all the answer is no the reason is if x is possible like you can apply some operation on this particular array such that 6 is possible so it is like you can say that okay i can apply some of like some order of operation such that 7 is possible 8 is possible 9 is possible everything after 6 is possible so if x is possible everything after this is possible so you know whatever the answer of this is 
there like everything is true so in a way you can skip the right half and only search in the left half conversely if x is false it means 6 is, let's say 6 is not possible so if 6 is not possible no way that 5 is possible right so you can uh, you can skip the left half and in that way you will search only the right half so hope you get the idea now here instead of doing linear search we are doing binary search so this x will become log of x right you are doing a binary search over the search space of x the final complexity is n log s which will definitely pass so let's look at the code the code is very straightforward this is the is possible function that we just looked at and it is exactly similar to the pseudo code and this is the array nums like this is the actual uh, like function and here we are doing binary search over l2r we have started at 0 that is the minimum possible value and maximum is 10 to the power 9 why maximum is 10 to the power 9 because initially everything is less than equal to 10 to the power 9 so if you apply no operation then also the maximum is 10 to the power 9 so why you will apply some operation that maximum will go greater than 10 to the power 9 right so we we keep r as 10 to the power 9 and now we apply binary search which like we just calculated the middle point and see if is possible is true at middle point or not if it is we will only search in the left half so we just decremented our r if it is not true we will only search in the right half so we incremented our l to m plus 1 so hope this solution makes sense if you have any doubts in this problem please post them in the question below if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you.